Hello, it's Amanda from IDPN, the ID Photographer Network. Today I'm going to show you how I edit dark under eye circles with the clone tool. We used the same technique late last week in reverse to edit a shiny forehead. So let's get started. So here we have a picture of our model Mona, and we've used a little burn tool to make the circles under her eyes more prominent, so we can show you how we do this edit. We have our clone tool selected, and just like last week, we need to make some adjustments to the tool's menu bar at the top here. Most of the work of this edit is done by setting up your clone tool correctly before you begin. It makes the edit a lot, le a lot more foolproof. So when you're doing facial edits, the trick is to be soft and subtle. Again, we've set the hardness of our brush to zero. And next we're going to change the blending mode. So to edit something shiny, we set the blending mode to darken. But because we're going to edit something dark, this time we're going to set our blending mode to lighten. And to keep the edit even more subtle, we're going to lower the clone tool's opacity to 20%. We basically want to build up layers of translucent cloning until the edit looks just right. Also, there's a natural shadow under your eyes. We don't want to get rid of this completely. We just want Mona to look well rested, but not fake and featureless. So now we're going to zoom in on her eyes here. And just like last time, we're going to use the Option or Alt key to tell the clone tool where we want to sample from. Um, this time we're going to use the light area under her, on her cheekbone here. And we're just going to build up the layers under each eye. Just softly build those up. And you may have to keep moving your, your tool bullseye to get that edit just right. And especially from eye to eye, you can see how the color on this side is a lot cooler than the color on this side. So if I tried to use this cheekbone over here, it wouldn't work very well. So we're going to use, we're going to resample on that side. We're going to pay special attention to this corner under here. And that to me looks about right. So you can see the before and the after, and it's very subtle. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope you learned something today, and be sure to check out the rest of our videos by subscribing to our channel or visiting our resource library and the blog listed in the description below. Thank you again from IDPN, the I Do Photographer Network at www.idophotonet.com.